is up guys so I'm gonna be attempting to make pure hydrogen gas and you're only gonna need a few things uh, you're gonna need something to collect the gas in so if you have gas canisters that's great I only have balloons right now so I'll just probably use those uh, you're gonna need something to do the reaction in I'll be using a test tube I mean you could use a cup uh, something or uh, your a chemistry lab, I don't know, whatever you want. For the ingredients, all you're really gonna need is muriatic acid and some sort of metal. I'll get into that later. But if you don't have muriatic acid, which is just hydrochloric acid, by the way, um, then sometimes these toilet bowl cleaners or just cleaners in general might have uh, hydrogen chloride in it, right there it says. So this only has 9.5%, while this is 31.45% but some brands including this brand actually have up to 25% hydrochloric acid. Um, the most I've ever seen in a store is 20% but you know. But for the sake of me having it I will be using this hydrochloric acid because it's better than toilet bowl cleaner but toilet bowl cleaner will work if it's the right kind. So I have this thing right here because I don't have anything to hold my test tubes with yet because I just bought this glassware so that works. So the other ingredient you will need is most likely a metal but essentially so right here I have this paper and uh, hydrogen is right here so any of these elements above hydrogen let me show you any of these elements any of these metals will work I will be using magnesium, but I mean, you could go down here and it says aluminum, so you could literally grab aluminum cans and cut them up, or just take tabs off, or whatever, use those, doesn't really matter. Um, nickel will work, cobalt, zinc, lead, so I'm sure you have at least one of these laying around somewhere, so I don't think that's too much of a concern. My idea of going about this is I'm going to grab some of this magnesium wire and just break it. So I have some magnesium wire right here. So what I'm going to do oop, is just put it all into this balloon. Hopefully not ripping the balloon or anything. So I got this little funnel. I'm going to open this carefully. I spilled it anyway. Spilled it all over my paper. Uh, so I cleaned everything up for the most part, put the funnel over there. I have a little bit too much of this. I probably have like eight milliliters. I'm gonna go down to like, I don't know, five. So I have this balloon with the magnesium in it and I'm gonna put the balloon over the test tube like this. Drop it in. And the balloon is filling up slowly. See, the balloon is filling up and the reaction is taking place. A little bit warm. It is an exothermic reaction, so. And of course, my camera battery is about to die. Okay, now that the reaction has for the most part calmed down, I am gonna see if I can light the hydrogen I'm gonna do this experiment for a third time now. So I've had a realization that this balloon can only hold a certain amount of pressure and that all the hydrogen gas is just sort of coming out. Okay, so I thought of a new way to sort of show that hydrogen is actually being produced. So hydrogen is lighter than normal air, so it's gonna go up, obviously. So if I get a little flask or a beaker or something and then put this little funnel on it, and put it up into this uh, test tube, hopefully hydrogen will collect in that little test tube. But who knows, honestly. I mean, I added a small amount of hydrochloric acid right in there. Did a bug fall in there? What is that? Mosquito somehow flew in there when I was in the middle of that, so that's just fantastic. So I got the magnesium, and I'm just Pop a little bit in there and hopefully this works. Okay. About to find out. Have a little lighter right here.
that worked. So the test tube thing didn't work, but that was very loud. Uh, but yeah, so I lit the hydrogen that was in the flask, and it sort of made um, like that barking dog sound that you hear in some chemical experiment. So there's proof that hydrogen is being made. Do remember, you can always use some bath cleaning products if you don't have hydrochloric acid. And maybe you can think of a better way to collect the hydrogen. I mean, I could have put the balloon and taped it, but I didn't want to, you know, get my flasks and everything all dirty and... But yeah, comment below if you have a really good idea on how to collect hydrogen easily. My SD card actually just ran out of storage, so I'm going to record this last part on my phone. I am buying a new camera soon, so my video quality is going to get a little bit better. Um, I'm going to try and work on the whole commentary thing. I'm not the best at this YouTube thing yet, but I'm, uh, I'm getting better anyway. So this is what happened uh, in the experiment. We have magnesium plus 2HCl. Uh, and it makes magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas is produced as H2 because it can't just be H because that's sort of just how it works. Uh, so anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and comment below if you have any video ideas or any recommendations or anything. Uh, peace out.